Hey, how's it going? This is the Hammer and Aerosol Smith. This video, I'm going to show you guys how I fit these VTEC grips to this uh, spring operated or spring powered KWC M1911 A1 licensed by Cybergun. First off, I'm going to explain why I fit why I fitted these grips to this particular gun. Because a lot of you know I have a few 1911s. So, why this gun? Well, here's the Kimber Ultra Carry. Now, the frame is an early version WE. Not that it really matters what version WE frame, but just being uh, nerdy. But yeah. Um, these grips do not fit on WE frames. Just that simple. The cutouts, the screw cutouts for the VTEC grips are slightly, ever so slightly farther apart than these screw bushings are. And I'll show you that real, real quick right here. And here's something funny. Okay, now the stock grips that were fitted to this pistol fit to WE frames just about perfectly and uh, vice versa but these grips fit onto this pistol way better than they fit on here like on this pistol obviously they had a chance WE not so much and I'll show you why Okay, that bottom one lines up perfectly. Perfectly. The top one, on the other hand, that's off. Barely. It's barely off. So, put these ones on here. They're like dead perfect. The bottom one is slightly off, but not enough for it to not work. Another reason why I fitted these grips to this pistol is, um, you know, they were given to me and I didn't want them to go to waste because naturally you would want to put these grips on like this Kimber or my other Colt M1911A1. The uh, gas back version one. Um, but, you know, I just didn't want them going to waste. And I figured the best chance I would have was for them to fit on here. Plus, I already got the black grips I wanted to fit on this gun. And uh, the other 1911, I have uh, two pairs of grips that I fit on. That are the, the Colt Pony ones and uh, the standard A1 checkered ones. <laughs> Anyways. So this is what I did. I f uh, filed this whole section all the way around here and this whole section all the way around here up here on this edge in this lip that covers the uh, plunger tube. And presto. Fits 99.9% .9 perfectly. Tightening these screws, you want to be careful because the bushings are plastic. You got to make sure this is lined up pretty, pretty well. And you don't need to tighten the bottom one too much because you don't want to mess anything up. So just tighten it just, just as it gets tight, you just stop. This one you can tighten a little bit more. There you go. It's pretty much so the grip doesn't move around at all, and you're good. The other side was a lot easier. I just grinded this edge off because you could see um, the cutout for the mag catch is higher up than where the mag catch actually is on this. So you just file that little edge down and now it fits perfectly. There we go. Yep. So there you have that. That's how I fit the VTEC grips 
onto uh, this KWC spin power Colt 911A1. Now, um, just in case I didn't state, so I'm going to state it now. These grips are for KJ Works. They may fit on uh, Togi Marori. With that said, they may fit Tersel. So, just throwing that out there. I know they definitely fit KJ Works because the guy I got these from, he had them fitted to uh, his KJ Works. Well, actually, it's an RA Tech Kimber Royale 2 or something like that. And they're essentially just souped up KJ Works MEUs. And so many motorcycles driving around today. You would think Disturbed was on another one of those cross country tours. But, anyways. Yep. So, there you have that. Um, a quick little opinion on these grips. I think. That they actually are very great. They're superior compared to the standard uh, grips you may get on your pistols when you buy them. Uh, they're very aggressive. Uh, these lines are made this way for your thumb so they don't slip. Your thumb doesn't slip easily when you're sweating or whatever. And this checkering here is very aggressive for your support hand. And you don't even have to grip them that hard, and you get the checkering and dents on your palms. Very, very good grips. I highly recommend them. Unfortunately, I don't know how much they go for, what model they are, but I'm sure you guys can find them. Or, you're going to stop over at non-existent and ask him. Yeah. So there you have that. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope this video was somewhat educational. Alright, have a good day.